What's up, Pathways Church? Welcome to today's Daily Dose. I'm Nathan Purifoy, your worship pastor. I'm super excited to have been with you all week this week talking about forgiveness. We've got today and tomorrow left, and then I'll see you guys on Sunday, which I'm hoping that all of you are there. And if you've missed any of this week so far, make sure you go back and watch it. There's some really good stuff that we're talking about around the subject of forgiveness. Now today, I wanna talk about holding on to offenses, being offended and holding on to it. First, I just want to tell you, it's not worth it. Whatever the offense is, it's just not worth holding on to it. It's not worth thinking that somebody said something mean to you on purpose. It's not worth thinking that somebody overlooked you on purpose or forgot about you on purpose. It's not worth thinking somebody even cut you off in traffic on purpose. It's just not worth it because that's going to ruin your whole day, your whole week. Some people, it ruins their entire year. And I've been that person. I've been that person that's held on to offenses that have ruined my year. This is what happens when we hold on to offenses. Somebody says something mean to us and we take this little plank, we take this little image of whatever they said and we put it in the ground and we refuse to move it. And then somebody else forgets that we existed. They hadn't called us all week. They hadn't called us all month. And we do it again. We take another fence post and we slam it in the ground. And after one offense, after another offense, after another offense, eventually we have this barrier built around us, between us and the world around us. We've taken offenses and we've built a fence. We separate ourselves because we're angry, because we're bitter, because there's some shame inside of us, because there's some guilt inside of us. Whatever it is, we're offended and we're separating ourselves from people. Now, some of those offenses are real. Some of those offenses are deep. Some of those are about something that somebody did to us in our family years and years ago. Some of those are about an abuse that we went through or a trauma that we experienced. But it's important to start removing these fence posts. Start reconnecting with people outside of yourself. The body of Christ operates best when it's connected. And it's hard to be a connected member of the body of Christ when we're surrounded by a barrier that keeps people out. Colossians 3, starting at verse 12, says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves in compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and peace. Bear with each other, not alone, but with each other, and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. There's so much in this scripture, in this passage, talking about how we need to be connected to other people, to bear with each other and forgive one another and have these qualities that are bound together by love in perfect unity. So let's start taking down our barriers, start taking down our offenses one at a time, and let's forgive each other. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Let's come back for one more of these talks about forgiveness tomorrow.